On this episode of Grassroots Garage, we have an old friend of the show. We checked out Bailey's Gold Gemini way back in episode 9. My TE Granny Spec Gemini. What year model? Um, 1980. I had an 82, which is going to pop up in the corner of the screen. While driving the gem, Bailey had the Tirana in the shed, but in a million pieces. Since then, Bailey's been through some cars. You can follow him on Instagram at Stamps Tirana. We're absolutely stoked to share Bailey's Tirana and we'll hopefully get the opportunity to share a few more cars from the Stemp family that we know you'll absolutely love. So stay tuned for Stempy Part 3. I don't reckon anyone remembers Bailey from the from the Gemini episode. That's early. OG it's day. A crack free dash. Fresh P play man on Ooh, like yeah. 17. Sick. <laughs> so you don't know how excited I am to sit with a bloke who says, This was my dream car and we just got to go driving it. It's Bailey's car. Bailey, thanks for your time, man. And thanks for having us. <laughs> hey, tell us about your car. And it's a L32 SL LX Tirana, 1977. We've done it up as a SLR A9X tribute. And yeah, dream car, dream colour, dream wheels. This is what I had in my head when I was 15. In 2013, when uh, Dad bought it for me for $8,000. Yeah, this is this is the image, this is the dream. I love that. For me, the, the little Jemmy wagon was my dream. But it says a lot for Bailey because when you start seeing some of the cars in the car history that he could have could have kept and he's moved them on right. to keep this thing going, yep. it's impressive. To fund this and fund the house. And yeah, it was always, this was uh, the main project, man. Not We put a 3 oid in it, fully yep. restored, and everything, we printed up everything, man. Your radiator, booster, mass cylinder, old mate Bruce to rewire the whole thing for us, whole car. Mm. Yeah, have a go at it. <laughs> what, um, are these are these two little plugs here, this is where the heater normally would go? Yeah, so yeah. I, I will, I'm still in the midst of little tiny things like the clips to the wiring harness and the heater hoses. Mm -hmm. I will um, I'll run the factory heater hoses. I'm going to fix up a few of the wiring things just, like, just to tidy it up. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for a grommet kit from Rare Spares. Okay. If you guys are watching, can you ring me back with my grommet set? Where's your grommet set? <laughs> Where's my grommet set? Where's your grommet set? Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah a few little things like the, the little covers to hold, hide the bolts and stuff, the clips to the harness. Mm -hmm. but yeah, she's all there, man. Running beautiful. Haven't haven't taken on a good drive yet, so this will be the first drive. This is the one, mate. Hopefully yeah. she stays cool. Yeah, Hopefully man. Cool. Yeah, you got the factory, um, some cool electric fans we've wired up. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah good idea. Yeah, great idea. Mm -hmm. So what is it? It's normally a fan off the belt. Yep. Yeah, yeah sure it yeah. is. Yeah. Running extractors. Yeah. Beautiful man. It's a mild I'm gonna, motor. I'm gonna go on the ground in a second and crawl under it. But before we do, so tell yeah. us about. So you've gone for sort of the factory look. Yep. The full trim is all original SLR trim. Mm-hmm. So the only thing left to do with the interior is I want to take the dash out and paint the dash. Mm -hmm. But everything else is brand new, restored. Yeah. <laughs> Love it, man. Right, I'm going under it. So it's not like a like a rotisserie job. What he just no, jacked it up. Oh, on, on the hoist. So he put it on the hoist. So put it on the hoist. In, yep. We yeah. painted it all underneath. Yeah, oh, magic. Um, all the exhaust is done. Everything's painted under there. And you were telling me you're real happy that old mate, the not old mate, the guy from this exhaust shop managed to yep. squeeze it up to under. Yeah, over the diff, which is yep. I mean, there's no room there. The drop tank and the big. Big ass tires. Yeah, yes. yeah. The yeah. Twelve inch wide rear rims with three, four, five tires. <laughs> yeah, fully yeah. restored. Yeah. So man, there's no room under there, and he was able to get it over all the, all the arms, over the diff. Yeah. So did you have these Simmons already, or you had to chase the set down? No. So we've we went the long way around with the wheels. My dad 
Dad's a legend. He actually bought me the rear rear rims. Mm -hmm. But man, they were the wrong wrong face, the wrong offset. They were Tirana stud pattern where this is HQ. Okay. And then getting the tires, getting them restored, getting the original uh, original Simmons caps. Yes. So, yeah. Disaster. This is a bomb, man. Yeah. Bomb. <laughs> Bloody Simmon warehouse. V fives, V fives. Oh, fuck, it's close, man. Don't worry, they're gonna be gold eventually. It's gonna test fit them first. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Yeah. Hey, and is, is it a brand new drop tank? Yep. Yeah, yeah, the drop tank made up. I think the dude in um, New Zealand made that for us. Or, or Tassie. It was, I think it was Tasmania he made that for us. Okay. Could be wrong there. I forget. I was like, did that a few years ago now. <laughs> yeah, magic. Yeah. Love it. So either. <laughs> so how many hours do you reckon you got in it? Oh, thousands. It's got to be. Yeah. So many of me. <laughs> yeah. I'd be way off if I had to guess. Yeah. Heaps of late nights, man. Lucky I had my dad, man, help me out. Yep. Yep. I learned a lot on this car. In the first car. I bet. Completely stripped it when I was 15. Wow. Big project, man. Yeah. I have too many people to thank. We'll have, to, we'll have to do a quick sit down and knock it out. I think we're getting rushed. So these sort of like three year projects, they're, they're not like a one man job. Give us, just run us through some of the people that have helped you over this job. Oh, man. I, if I leave your name out, it's off the top of my head. <laughs> but the big ones would have to be, obviously dad and mum helping yep. us out. Yep. Like that was a huge help. Um, my man, Bruce, wiring the car. Um, Eric and Rob, South Fender Smash. Uh, Shane and Nicole from Penford Prestige. They did a killer job on the paintwork as well. Um, Brendan for painting underneath, killer job. King Trim, Dave did it on interior. So stoked with that still. Um, man, Don, my old mate Don did the wheels, restored the Simmons at home. Mm. Yeah, but there's, yeah, there's heaps of people. There's probably like exhaust 20. Guy. Exhaust guy, Penrith City. Yeah, love yeah. That. yeah. Um, Paul, uh, Mr. Paul. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people helped, man. I couldn't, yeah. couldn't do it like, 23 year old couldn't do this car without without help yeah, yeah so 100%. a lot of people behind me good people as well or all, all friends and family friends you know yeah love, yeah. That. Actually, love that so grateful man take me back to um like the cars history about it sitting around for a while take me back to when like when oh, you old mate yeah he was a local guy and it was funny he actually lived behind us in glenmore park oh yeah so it was yeah, crazy how we got it but um he owned a car yard in Parramatta, and he obviously wanted to keep it for himself and and for some reason he had to sell it. I'm gonna pop around his house. Show it'll be, to him. It'll be very soon. I'll pop pop around if you're watching. Yeah. And um yeah, show him that I don't know what he um how long he had it for or it was a while ago, I was like 15, 14, 15 when we got it. Yeah. So yeah, I forget the whole story about it, but he had it for Yonks too. Yeah. A friend told us about it and we actually drove it home. It was complete. Yeah, factory V8 manual, like L32 car, so Magic. We drove it home. It was only around the corner, you know. Yeah. So is this the same motor? No. So I got the matching number motor tucked away, and I, we put a 308 in it. Okay. You, you just put it away just for just in case, sort of reason. Yeah, it's or? no reason to sell it. We'll nah, just keep it. Just it's keep all it. it's all wrapped up. Yeah, it always, always go with the car. Matching number motor. Yeah. So uh, some people, when they finish finish a like a full restoration, they say they'll, they'll never do it again. Are you gonna do it again? Love to. Yeah, you enjoy yeah, it. I'd love to do a hatchback. 
I love to do a turbo VL. Yeah, I've got a big list. Yeah, we'll yeah. get there. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. One day. So tell me, what, what do you reckon? Going into the process, you like you've you've grown up around cars. You sort of had your eyes open. Yep. What was something you found that was fifty times harder than you thought it was going to be? And yeah, the main thing, as long as it's complete and you have everything to go with it, and we 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 glad wrapped and boxed everything, so we knew exactly where everything was. But yeah, I think if you bought a car missing heaps, it turned it a hundred hundred times bigger, you know. Always yeah. chasing little things. Just but I, I've got and, yeah. so many mates helping us out, and so. Yeah, the original, um, to do the painter, that was Eric. He's retired now. He was working for South Penrith Smash, him, okay. and, him and Rob. Which is just down the road. Just around the corner, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did it in his spare time and helped us out awesome. Like, have a go at it. Full bare metal respray. Yeah. I've got killer photos of him. It looked like a basket case when he was painting it, man. Full mm. back to bare metal. All the rust repairs. Mm. And I picked out the colour. Panama green. Yeah, so all flared up. Magic. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Eric. I have to show you. He's living in Port Macquarie now. Yeah. Love to, love to show him the car. Yeah. yeah. I'll show some photos of in the workshop and how it was painted and whatnot. Yeah. But the running gear. So I had, had the nine inch short and diff already. We've, um, my mate Brendan painted that for us. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a killer job. And then we've rebuilt the M20 gearbox with the M21 gear. So factory Aussie four speed. And we've rebuilt the 308. This mild cam, roller rockers. Mm -hmm. So just a mild, mild build. Yeah, everything else has been restored or prettied up, and you should see underneath it, man. It looks just as good underneath that it does on we'll, top. We'll put some photos in yeah, right here. Yeah, some man. photos. Just, I love that. And the exhaust as well. Yeah, yeah. Up over the diff. Over the diff, man. Yeah. Pen Penrith City Exhaust did that, and he did a killer job as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to more photos of that. Sounds awesome. Love and the that. trim, King Trim, Mimi did the trim. Yeah. Uh, he's yeah. happy with that. Let's go car history. Start us off at the Gemini and take us through to the Tirana. Oh, there's, unfortunately it wasn't a priority. I was wheeling, dealing, buying HSVs, VN, SSs, Dados. Yeah, I went for the Gemini phase. Yeah. And now, now I'm the JDM side, mm -hmm. and Sylvia's and the GDR. Yeah. But yeah, this has always been the baby. Like this is number one. Okay. But if this needs money, the I'll sell a GDR to, to fund this, you know? Yeah. yeah never yeah. sell this one. First car. So, yeah, because you had the 180 for a minute there. Mm, yeah, yeah, it was nearly two years. Okay. It was awesome daily. Yeah, yeah, sold that to upgrade to the R32 GDR. Yeah, so bit a bit of variety, the, the GDR and the Tirana. Why not, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like the, the little, little stem collection. Yeah, man. Unlimited budget. You keep in the GDR. You keep in the Tirana. What else would you buy yourself to oh, put in the workshop? I'd love to do an RX3 up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like a coupe four door. What do you do? And even a four-door, I'd love a four-door. Okay. Could be awesome, as long as it's original. Yeah? Yeah, I'd have you to go non-turbo. Yeah, but there's a big list, man. <laughs> there's a big list. An A13B? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Keep going, man, whatever yeah. cars you have. Uh, yeah, man, VL turbos. Um, I'd love a VF GDS as a daily. That'd be yes, epic. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just me dreaming, man. VF GDS, I like that. <laughs> yeah. did, you a, did you have a Commodore for a while? Did you have a VS Commodore for a while? Yeah, VS Senator. Yes. Out of VE yeah. Clubby, VNSS. All right. There's a few I'm probably missing, but yeah. But, but, so, but your, your thing was you'd, you'd buy them and you'd fix them up a bit and move them on? Yeah, move them on, yeah. enjoy them for a bit, make a bit of money. Okay. I was lucky you made a few good good investments. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately I had to sell a few to buy a few. and. So we're going to hassle Bailey to try and get uh, a little video going with his skyline. That's it for Bailey's Toronto. Bailey, you're a legend. Thanks for your time, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.